So you want to use your iPhone as a webcam? Well, I think that's a fantastic idea because as you can see, it looks great. And if you haven't seen my last video, I actually compared the quality of the video to my mirrorless camera that I mainly use. But hey, this is it. What you're seeing right now is the iPhone 13 Pro as a webcam. And it's also really easy to set up and I'll show you how to do all of that, plus compare it to some other webcams and some older iPhones. So let's get started. Mr. Black. Welcome to the channel where I love to review cool gear that comes my way and please don't be a stranger. Links to everything I'm talking about today will be down in the description plus a surprise link and I put time chapters down there just in case you need to skip ahead but you know what let's just get straight into it. So what you're going to do is plug your phone straight into the computer and I recommend getting this app. By the way, this is not sponsored by them. I don't even think they know who I am and I don't get any affiliates. I've actually bought a bunch of different programs to try out and I find that this one is the best. It's called Reincubate Camo, which is a terrible name, but it is what it is. But you download that to your phone and then you download the Camo Studio app to your Mac or PC and then open the app on your phone and open the app on your computer. And what this does now, it creates a webcam source that you can choose just like you would choose any other webcam. Now the app is free, but I do recommend getting the pro version, which you have to pay for $5 a month or $40 a year, or just get the lifetime license of $80. And so just to give you a rundown on the app, you can pause and start the webcam. You can select your device. You can also set it on portrait mode, which gives you that, look at that, like that blurred background. And you can even set how much of that you want. You can also change to your different lenses. So this is ultra wide. Look at, this is ultra wide. That's incredible right there. Uh, this is your typical wide angle. And then this is telephoto focus. So if you want to actually have it set at a standard focus that we don't have to worry about triggering it to go off. But then if you just want autofocus, that way you can autofocus to what's happening. But that's, that's a quick focus. Look at that. That's pretty good. You can also choose your selfie camera. That way you could see yourself on the phone, but I actually find that a little bit more distracting because then you're looking at yourself versus looking at the camera lens. You can also set the resolution. Unfortunately, it just goes up to 1080p at the moment. Maybe it'll get higher later on, but if you have other custom resolutions, you can pick those. And you can also select two different microphones, which you can do the camera one, which is on the back or the bottom of the phone, which if you're using the front facing camera. So this is the back facing microphone next to all the camera lenses. And uh, this is what it sounds like. So, I mean, that's a nice option to have if you don't have any other microphones. And so to continue down really quick, uh, we have some presets where you can add some saturation. Uh, you can get synth wave. That's pretty, pretty, I like that actually. Tropical, wow, okay, that's crazy. It also depends, ooh, look at all those lines on your face, ah! And then you can also mirror your video. You can change a watermark and custom watermark right here, which is great. So if I'm doing a Zoom call with somebody else, I wanna have my logo showing, I can do that. Uh, then you can zoom in to the shot as well, and you can actually move it around to where you want it to be. And on the other side, you can adjust it a little bit further with exposure. You can change the ISO if it's low lit. Another thing I like here is you can turn the flash on. So the flash on the phone can go on and you can actually adjust the brightness of it. So if you're needing that extra light where you are, that is awesome. Then also you can see brightness, hue, saturation, contrast, gamma, and sharpness. And that makes up the studio app, which is pretty cool. So in my opinion, I think that this is a great option for a webcam and a lot more hassle-free than other options that you have, especially if you don't want to spend more money on cam links and things like that. And you want to have multiple cameras in your studio or for your live streams. All right, so now let's just have some fun and take it a little bit further and compare it to some different webcams and cameras. So this is what I was primarily using. This is the A6500 going out via HDMI to a cam link. And this is what it looks like. And if you want to see it side by side, yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. So if I was to go into the studio app and adjust it a little bit more, I can try to get it as close as I want to, to the A6500. So yeah, that's it side by side. Now here's the GoPro Hero 10 as a web camera. It's also got a wider field of view. So if we want to match that up, we can just use the ultra wide angle lens on the phone. So now you can see it side by side and just see the quality difference between the Hero 10 and the iPhone 13 Pro. And there you go. Here's what it looks like with the Osbot Tiny. So uh, what's cool about the Osbot Tiny is it follows you around. But you can see the quality between the iPhone 13 Pro and the Osbot Tiny. 
So side by side, you can actually see what it looks like. I do love the fact that it does follow you around and has the hand gestures so it can zoom in. So now I wanted to try the iPhone 10 going through the same process with the re-incubate camo software. It's a dumb, dumb name, but uh, it doesn't look that far off and putting it side by side, you could see the quality differences, but this might make you go, hey, my iPhone is perfectly good as a webcam as it is and I don't have to upgrade or maybe you want to upgrade anyways, but uh, yeah. Okay, I know this was a bit thorough and I hope that this was very helpful for you and maybe if you know somebody that it would be helpful for, share this with them. So far, I think the iPhone 13 Pro looks best as a webcam. I mean, it is an expensive device, but if you're gonna get something like that, I'm sure that the 13 and probably the 12 Pro look just as good. Hey, and if any other company sends me another webcam that's better than this, I'll be sure to review it and share it with you guys. So, you know, make sure you ding that bell to get notified when I do upload a video like that. But that's it for today's video. And if you made it this far and you haven't, make sure you hit this button right there. That uh, helps out a lot feeding the algorithm. Also, if you wanna support this channel even further, check out my memberships where I do exclusive behind the scenes content, live streams, and much, much more. Also, you can check out the Tech Is Hard podcast where we go live and we did that live stream where we are showing off our iPhone 13 Pros as webcams and probably we'll keep doing that in the future. So. Uh, check that out. It's a fun little conversation about tech and the YouTube life. And I guess that's it for me. So I'm trying to look for something to hit, but I'll just do this. See you guys in the next one.